All right, what is going on guys? So I want to do a top Mac accessories video just because it was requested by popular demand ever since the summer when I got the original Intel Macs and I just never got around to it. So the cable creation products are the only products that were sent to me. Everything else was bought with my own personal money. And I want to structure this into two segments. So this is pretty much, I wanna talk about the essentials and then what you would want if you are trying to do a proper um, desktop replacement or just enhance your MacBook even more than just a regular laptop. So with that out the way, let's first start with what I think is the most essential is converting your USB-C ports into other things. So these are the Nanda USB-C to USB-A ports. All it does is transfer one to the other, USB-C to USB-A. Um, I love these, but personally for me, I just need a lot more ports. Um, but I do think that if you're a person who just needs a regular USB-A port, that these would serve your purpose really well. And they do come in twos, so that's nice by Nanda. Um, next up, I wanna talk about cable creations. Like I said, these were sent to me over the summer. Um, so the smallest one is USB-C, HDMI, USB-A, and a headphone jack. The next biggest one is USB-C, HDMI, two USB-A ports, and a headphone jack. And then the biggest one, which I used the most until I got this one, is a bit bulky, but it does have an HDMI port, a USB-A port, USB-C port, an Ethernet port, which is nice, two regular USB-A ports, a micro SD card slot, and a big SD card slot. Now, the one thing that I will mention about these products is I showed these to my sister and my mom, and they personally like the smaller one versus this big one, just because this one is more of a slim profile. Um, but the one thing I do wanna mention is if you want to charge your laptop while you use this, you do have to use this USB-C port as well. Um, but overall, I do think that cable creations from the time that I used them over the summer, they were really good. And the nice thing about this is that this does work for um, your iPad as well. So if you have an iPad and you want to expand the one USB-C port on there, you can use cable creations, which is really nice by them. So next I wanna talk about I'll save this for later. Next, I wanna talk about external storage because this is desktop replacement in my opinion. Next, up, I wanna talk about external storage. So this is the SanDisk Extreme Pro and then this is the Samsung T7. Now, personally, I use the Samsung one just because in terms of aesthetics, it looks cleaner and it was cheaper. And the thing that I wanna talk about with SanDisk because this is the one that is most popular, most recommended, just because of its rugged design, you don't really have to worry about it being damaged if you're tossing it around. Um, it does survive some water damage as well. And obviously with this hook, you can hook it in places, which is really nice if you wanna carry it around. Um, but I do want you to keep in mind that there are different versions of this. So this one is the one that has, I believe a thousand megabytes that can be written written. And then the Samsung T7 is identical, but just like a tad bit slower in real world performance. Um, personally, I would take that hit for a few more bucks with Honestly, I'm not gonna notice the difference, but I do think that um, external storage is very important if you think paying that extra Apple tax of upgrading from 512 to one terabyte, two terabytes is just way too much. So I kind of recommend that you should go for at least 512 on MacBooks if you really wanna use internal storage. But if you think you can get away with 256, I would say just look into getting external storage because you can just get so much more value for your money. Next, I'm gonna talk about headphones because you don't wanna play music to your speakers all the time, even though these speakers are good. In terms of really like not disturbing other people, um, personally, I use my AirPods Pro. Um, I do know that these are a hefty price, but you know, with the sales going on, it's not that bad. I wanna move over to the AirPods Max, but that's just me. Next is the wired EarPods, which I think is an incredible value just because these have the same um, sound quality as the regular AirPods. I just realized I'm recommending a product and it has a lightning port. Ah, Apple. Apple, 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 Apple. Okay, so my recommendation is if you have any wired headphones with a headphone jack, go ahead and just plug it into the headphone jack port on the MacBook that you're using or one of the dongles that I recommended earlier. Uh, personally, like I said, you don't have to use AirPods. Pretty much any Bluetooth headset would work with the MacBook, but in terms of you know that ecosystem, that cohesion of switching between devices, I just found the AirPods to Pro to be um, the most beneficial in my day-to-day -day workflow. 
Um, next up, I'm gonna talk about um, gaming. If you do decide to game on the Mac, I guess Apple Arcade, you can play some games on Steam. Um, this is the PS4 controller, this is the PS5 controller. They both work. Um, personally, I like the PlayStation 5 controller better. I don't have a PlayStation 5, I just got the controller just because it's a nice controller in my opinion and it's USB-C. Um, this one is micro USB. Um, so if you want that easy connection to the MacBook, honestly, I would say Bluetooth is the best way to go. But USB-C to USB-C, you're gonna probably wanna get the PS5 controller. Um, and I do believe they might be the same price as the PS4 controller as well. Um, next, I wanna talk about the work from home setup now. So if you really want to make your MacBook a work from home station, I would recommend the CalDigit TS3. Now this is expensive, but I would honestly say it's worth the money, but I do wish there were improvements. This isn't just for MacBooks as well. This works for pretty much any laptop that has a Thunderbolt 3 port. So going around the ports, we have a SD card slot, two audio jacks, a USB-C port, and a regular USB-A port. We have three USB-C ports, four USB-A ports, DisplayPoint 1.2, optical port, ethernet port, and then the DC to power the actual CalDigit. Now, the one thing that I don't like, two things that I don't like about this is that it's a DisplayPoint 1.2 instead of 1.4, it's nitpicking, and I wish there was micro US, micro US, not micro US, micro SD card slot as well as a regular SD card slot. Also nitpicking. Um, so this is what I've been using for a little bit until I switched over to this. This is just a laptop stand. I'll have the name of the company on the screen, but this is nice just because once your laptop is closed and charging inside the Cal Digit or just connected to your monitor, you can place your phone on the front right here or you can leave it on the side for charging. Um, another good use case is for um, iPads or just pretty much any product that can fit right here. Um, I know other laptops can fit right here, but they actually don't recommend it. So that is what I like about this product. But if you want to, I guess, have an extra monitor without buying another monitor, you can set it on this. And what I like about this is instead of spending money on one of those portable monitors, you can just buy one of these. And honestly, in terms of ergonomics it's also really good for your posture as well because your monitor is now eye level and if you do decide to plug it into a monitor you can have your main monitor in front of you and then you can have your side monitor which is your macbook on the side the one thing that i like about this product in particular is that it's able to swivel and it can move up and down um, i saw a lot of laptop stands online that pretty much just came like this out of the box and i really wanted something that i could adjust to exactly what I need it to. And if I wanted to swivel, show someone something, or you know, I want to just move it in general to the perfect position, I can do that. Um, the one thing that I wish this thing did have was I wish I could move this stand up or down. But in terms of the adjustability, um, I think it's really good. Yes, it's really good. What I usually have on the side laptop screen is just like Spotify playing my playlist or podcast because I'm a weird person who actually likes to watch podcasts or interviews of people because I just like seeing people's facial expressions whenever they have to talk about certain topics or answer questions. So next I'm gonna talk about the monitor and this is a 4K monitor. I don't think people should buy a 4K monitor unless you absolutely need it. Now it sounds like I need a 4K monitor, but 4K monitors are really good in terms of productivity. There's just a lot more stuff that can fit on the screen. Um, so this is what I bought from Best Buy. I'll have the model number um, somewhere on the screen, but this monitor is fantastic um, for the price that I paid it for, in my opinion. And I know there's gonna be people in the comments saying that, well, it's HDR 400, it's not the real HDR 1000. I personally don't even care about HDR. I don't even use HDR. But if you want to elevate your MacBook and have a monitor, I don't think you should get 4K unless you really want to take advantage of the real estate and the productivity aspect. Um, 1440p is a good happy medium, but minimum I would go probably most monitors nowadays are going to be sold at 1080p. Um, I'll have the link in the description for this one, all these products as well. Um, but this one is really good at Best Buy if you can't snag it because it was on sale. 
Um, so if you do decide to have your MacBook be a desktop, you also want to look into getting keyboards and mouses. Now this one is the MX Master 3. My coworker had this and convinced me to get it. And honestly, this is, in terms of productivity, this is the best productivity mouse I've ever used, period. I can say so much about it, but just take my word for it. I've used a lot of Logitech mouses in the past, lots of them. Personally, nothing compares to the MX Master 3. With that being said though, you don't have to buy this one because I do think this one is expensive at $100. Um, but I mean, this mouse is just so good. I don't think you would replace this mouse in productivity for quite some time. Um, it's an investment at the end of the day. Um, this is just a regular trackpad, nothing special. Any trackpad would work. Next is the keyboard that I use. And just because it's a MacBook, like I said, you don't have to buy this exact one. This is the Magic Keyboard in Space Gray with a numpad because the numpad is so good when you're working with numbers, crushing numbers, instead of just using this top row. Um, another reason why I went with this one in particular is because I like Space Gray. And with Magic Keyboards, you are able to still control your MacBook and Mac OS using this top function row key. Um, with the emoji key dedicated now, it's now just a regular FN key on the Magic Keyboard. Um, but they do have cheaper alternatives for the white one, the ones that don't come with the numpad. So if you want a cheaper alternative, um, you can plug in pretty much any mouse you want. Just make sure you have a USB-A converter. This is just a Dell keyboard that you've probably seen at a lot of companies or even at school. Any keyboard would work fine, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but if you do want that same trackpad experience, this is the Space Gray trackpad. You can also get it in white. Do I think this is worth it? Yes and no. In terms of video editing, I think it's amazing, but for pretty much everything else, I use the MX Master 3. Last thing, um, two things actually. Um, people talk about cases a lot. I don't use a case in my MacBook, but my mom uses one, it's a clear case. This is what my sister uses. Um, this is a laptop sleeve is what I would think people call it. This is the TomTac. She loves this thing. Um, personally, I don't use a laptop sleeve or anything inside my, or for my products. I usually have a skin. My Icon's skin is coming soon. But this one is really padded. My sister says she loves it. There's also a top slot right here so you can have other products that you want like your phone, or maybe your extra dongles and hubs. You can put inside here, zip it up, and your laptop is fine. Um, the only thing that I wish this product had, even though I do think this is really nice, is that I wish there was some type of like handle or something. But you know, that's just the price you pay for um, with laptop sleeves. There's plenty of them out there. I can't recommend one for you specifically, but I would say just read Amazon reviews in the description for what laptop sleeve you think is best. But that one is the TomTac. So with all that being said, guys, this is my MacBook, not even MacBook, this is more of just like a USB-C laptop accessories guide, not guide, but recommendation of what you should get. If you guys did enjoy this video, please let me know down in the comments below. I appreciate every sub, like, and comment. And AirPod Max is coming soon, I can't wait. Apple Fitness, I will have a review of that coming soon. And as always guys, much love. Stay healthy. Because I'm not.